Hi uh, folks, um, this time I'm going to record uh, a bunch of tunes from this, which I've been reviewing. It's a great album. I, I basically can play along with the whole thing from the beginning to the end. Uh, I won't do that. I'm actually going to um, teach uh, the tunes um, in the order that they are on the tape. Not that I, I'm the best person to learn from, but... Anyway, maybe we'll help somebody. So uh, to begin with, side one, Con McGinley's reel. Con McGinley was a neighbor of, of James, I believe. I think so. Anyway. this a little bit. Okay. Now, that's uh, slow. Here it is, uh, medium speed. If you're playing the fiddle, uh, tempted to use the open E when you're playing. But this just helps the tune flow if you use the, the fourth finger. All right. All right, so here we go, up to speed. Slip jig followed by a um, a double jig, so Patty Hootie's jig, 
I guess uh, Patty Hooty Gallagher was uh, another one of, of James's uh, neighbors. And Glen Colum Kill, Southwest Donegal. And um, the, uh, the first one, I went to his house for a lesson. Um, I, I, I went there once. Um, and uh, the tune, or one of the tunes that, that uh, we went over was this one, which I had learned previously. Um, and I was playing it wrong, he said. Yeah, yeah. So uh, I was playing this. Let's see here. So this is how James plays it. I was playing so going down to here instead of <laughs> um, and he is offended by that which is understandable he, he said well you know why why play the tune um, uh, a, a, a in a way that it just makes it uh, completely different so he's a a tune conservative or at least that's how it, it, it appeared to me um, there are other kinds, you know, tune liberals. All right, so here we go. Um, Patty Hootie's uh, slip jig, um, probably more commonly called James Burns slip jig. second one, the double jig is, is more commonly called, um, is it Patty, Patty Gallagher's? Gallagher's jig, Gallagher's March. Yes, Gallagher's March. And I've already uh, recorded this um, with the John Doherty double jigs or marches, one of those. Anyway, here it is. Uh, and James's version, which isn't that different from John's, but whatever. speed.
right, now up to speed. skip some tunes here. I'm not going to try to uh, do justice to the Blackbird, to his version of, uh, of the air, the Blackbird. Um, but uh, the Fickle Lad, I'll, I'll uh, try. So this is another double jig, the Fickle Lad.
Okay, kind of strange. It's three parts. The first part seems to be single. Well, I'm a little confused to tell the truth on, yeah. It's a, it's a little bit of a strange tune. Maybe that's why it's called the Fickle Lad. Anyway, all right, here it is at medium speed. Are single. Is the third part? I don't know. All right, the fickle lad up to speed. over the Wild Irishman, which is uh, pretty similar to, uh, to a version that I've recorded. Okay, and next I'm going to do uh, one that's, uh, well, the English name is the Drake's Nick. I cannot pronounce the, the Irish name, the Drake's Nick. All right, so this is a great, this is a great uh, little reel.
the slow speed. All right. that he plays a, uh, a role there. Maybe it's one of the very, very few places where he actually plays an ordinary long role. And then he does this. Sorry. So it's a very quick cut. Maybe one more here. Oh uh, yeah, okay. The Road to Glen Lock. Waltz. I guess I'll just play this at one speed here. Maybe after the alarm clock is done, or I mean the grandfather clock. Okay. So it's the the Road to Glen Lock. This the uh, CD tape, the, the recording is named after this tune.
So, nice tune, three, three or four part waltz. Yeah. All right, I think I'm gonna uh, call it quits for now. I'll do, uh, do uh, some more of side A later.